بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم children ان شاء الله you are all doing well so are you ready for another story from the holy quran i think i am so let's begin now do you remember the first story i told you who can remember the first story i told you that's right it was about prophet yusuf and his brothers and and that his brothers threw Prophet Yusuf in the well because they were very jealous. Now, do you remember I told you that Prophet Yusuf's story is very, very long and he went through so many adventures and I told you I will be telling you another story about him. Well, today I'm going to tell you another story about Prophet Yusuf and this time It's about Prophet Yusuf and the King's Dream. It's a very interesting story, so let's begin. I'm sure you're all going to enjoy it. As I said in the previous video, Yusuf was a prophet of Allah. Allah always gives special gifts to the prophets, just like all the other prophets that I mentioned in my other videos. He also gave Prophet Yusuf a special gift. What was that? He taught Yusuf how to understand dreams. Let's begin the story and tell you all about the king's dream and how Prophet Yusuf saves the day. Okay, so Prophet Yusuf was put in prison for something he did not do. And one day, the king of Egypt had a strange dream. What dream did he have? This is what he saw. There were seven fat cows in the field. Then came seven really skinny, thin cows. And they ate the seven fat cows. The king was very confused and scared. After that, the king saw seven green corns And then those seven green corns turned yellow. He woke up from his dream and he was shocked. And he did not know what that dream meant. He kept thinking about this very, very strange dream. And he wanted to know what it means. So the next day, the king called all the wise men and his servants and he told them about this dream. He asked them, what does this dream mean? Why do the thin skinny cows eat the fat cows? Why, do, why does the green ears of corn turn yellow? Nobody knew the answer and also they also thought it was a strange dream. Then one of the king's servants He knew Prophet Yusuf. He knew that Prophet Yusuf could understand and explain dreams because one day he also had a dream and Prophet Yusuf explained to him what that dream means and Prophet Yusuf was right. So he told the king about Prophet Yusuf and he told him that Prophet Yusuf understands dreams and he's going to be able to explain to you exactly what that dream means. The king told him to call Prophet Yusuf. So that's what they did. They called Prophet Yusuf and Prophet Yusuf came to the palace. The king told him his dream. He asked him, do you know what this strange dream is that I had? And Prophet Yusuf explained. He said, yes, I know what this dream means. Seven fat cows means seven years of rich harvest. People will have enough to eat. But then, after seven years of prosperity will come seven years of drought. And you know what that means? People will not have enough to eat. Seven green Seven green corns turning yellow means the same thing. After seven years of good harvest, there will also be seven years of bad harvest. And this is what this dream means. The
the king wanted to set Yusuf free from the prison because remember I told you Prophet Yusuf was in prison and Prophet Yusuf said no I will not be set free until my innocence is proved and that's what's happened Prophet Yusuf's innocence was proved and then the king was very very pleased with Yusuf and he knew that Yusuf was a very wise and good man so he made him a minister he was put in charge of the king's granaries. Prophet Yusuf had a plan for the drought to come. For seven years, this is, was Prophet Yusuf's plan. He had a plan. He said, I will save the people. For seven years, the harvests were very good. Prophet Yusuf saved the extra wheat from those harvests. And then the drought came and the fields and all the, the wheat became dry. No corn could grow on the dry land. Then Prophet Yusuf opened all the uh, up the the he opened it up and he gave wheat to the people. Nobody went hungry, and he did his duties and he saved the people from the harsh days ahead. You see, Prophet Yusuf was a very wise was very wise and because he understood dreams he was able to plan ahead and save all the people you see my children Allah looks after his people he sends prophets to guide them and this story shows us how Allah looked after the people and helped them and how Prophet Yusuf saved the day if you want to read more about this story, you can find the story in the Holy Quran in Surah number 12, Ayah number 42 to 49. That's Surah number 12, Ayah number 42 to 49. It's a very interesting story. And as usual, here are the quick questions to see who was listening to this story, okay? So let the parents ask you these questions. Question number one is, what did... Um, what did the king have see in his dream? What did the king see in his dream? Question number two. What did Yusuf say the dream meant? Question number three. How did Yusuf save the people? What did he do? What was his plan? And question number four. What did you learn from this story? Okay, I want to see what you learned from this story. I hope you enjoyed today's story and you found it interesting join me again for another story tomorrow inshallah we are coming to the end of the story series and i'm quite sad that we are coming to the end i've really enjoyed recording these stories for you all but we do have another video tomorrow and another story tomorrow inshallah for you all another beautiful story about the first prophet adam so join me again tomorrow and then the last day will be a video for the parents inshallah and then it brings us to the end of this series thank you so much for watching and inshallah i'll see all you children tomorrow with another video wassalamu alaikum